Hey, welcome back. This is Clay Nelson and Susan Nelson on the Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. And we're talking about really listening versus just hearing. You know, we hear all kinds of things. We hear background noises. We hear telephones. You know, we hear other people speaking. We hear gossip. You know, that always lights us up. The hum of the refrigerator. Yeah, the hum of the refrigerator. And all kinds of things. Or you can hear your new bulldog puppy chewing, and you don't know whether <laughs> it's something that's really expensive or just slightly expensive that's getting chewed up. Yep. And all of it affects how we really listen. Like there's a quote here. It says by M. Scott Peck, you cannot truly listen to anyone and do anything else at the same time. You know, I did a show one time about multitasking and how it costs you relationship because you can't hear people when they talk to you when you're doing other things besides listening. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Scott, I'm glad we agree. Okay. So now, uh, Susan, we've got some... Uh, and we have an email from Andrew. Come, yeah, yes. from Andrew. What, yes. Uh, what's he, the question? He says, my teenage daughter is having a problem at school already, and she said that her professor just won't listen to what she has to say. Hmm. So how would you recommend she approach this person who is in authority over her? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a good question. And what if you what if you changed it a little bit and said, my parents don't listen, my brother doesn't listen, you know, you know my boyfriend doesn't listen, my girlfriend doesn't listen, so it's all about the same thing. So now, what do you do if... You're speaking, and you clearly know you're not being heard. Is A, number one, is you recognize the fact that the way you're speaking isn't getting their attention. So you have to you simply just say, hey, you know, I got to tell you, it doesn't sound like you're really listening to me. And based on what we're talking about, I'm really not getting over to you what I really want to get over to you. So could we start over? And I'm going to say to you now, you know, exactly what I want you to hear. And then you say back to me what you want me to hear. And mm -hmm. that's how you do this. That's the game you play. Hmm. So it's all about straight talk. You know, it's no yeah. different than we're talking to CJ. You know, remember we had, um, not, you know, this week, it's been a big week. Uh, CJ, as we did with all our kids, when they turn 17 or 18, you know, they get a car. Mm -hmm. Okay, But we don't just go and buy them a car. No. We don't. They have to get to a point in their life where they're willing to say, hey, you know what? Uh, I've got so much to do, I can't do it all. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to bring it up, just yeah. like CJ did. Yeah. And uh, then we surprise them, and we drive off to the sh to the store and yep. see what we can get. Yep. So it's all about, one, being able to make sure that you've really been heard without any distractions, and two, you know, taking action on what you hear. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really cool. So effective listening, it's all about how do I get heard, and then, two, what do I do with it? Now, earlier we were talking about uh, how things filter listening, all right? It's like all kinds of things filter listening. You know, when I'm doing a talk in front of 500 people, it's a little different than doing a talk in front of 5,000. But on, if under 500 people, you can see the first five rows, are, five rows of people are kind of, I call them the rug inspector rows. Because they don't want you to no, know that they're listening. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> don't looking, call on me. Yeah, don't call them. They're looking yeah. down at the floor going, oh, gosh, he's going to say something. I'm going to have to answer. And then, uh, you know, from row eight on back in 500, you know, in a pr pretty good size room, it's only about 30 rows. But see, when you walk, you walk around, though, uh, yeah. so nobody can get away with yeah, anything. Yeah. <laughs> so that's don't, <laughs> Susan, don't tell the secret. Well, okay. okay. No, it's okay. Now. So, Except you can't really do that with 5,000 people. No, no well. you have to stand up there and you're, yeah. you're on two big TV screens and everything else. You, have, you also have to make sure that there's nothing open that shouldn't be. <laughs> you know, <laughs> life is going on. Yeah. Anyway, so it's all about how do I get my point across, okay? And how do I make sure that the people I'm with actually understand and appreciate that I actually heard what was said? Look, jo corporations, jobs... Places you make money, places you make a difference, it's all being done by human beings. And it gets done by what I call full and complete communication. And without that understanding and assurance that what is being said is heard, okay, or what is disagreed to and needs to be changed is heard, unless hearing actually happens, people get frustrated, people give up, people want to quit, people really get to a place where they feel less about themselves because they don't feel heard. Mm -hmm. The art of effective listening and the art of effective, full and complete communication is where life is. I don't care where you are. I mean, have you ever, from, remember when we were raising the babies? Yeah. They couldn't say much, but boy, when they smiled or you saw that twinkle in their eye, that's the best communication you could have, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, and then they learn how to talk, all right? And so when they're talking, did we listen? 
Yeah, yeah pretty much. <gasps> Are you saying you didn't <laughs> listen as a mother? Oh, my God. Didn't, I didn't have any other distractions going oh, on. Oh, so. my. Oh, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So, so it's like, you know, it's like you listen as best you can. But what happens when your kid starts doing the same thing, saying the same thing, being the same way, and they become what we call predictable, like we know them? You know, no, we like, don't. We listen less and <coughs> less. Excuse me. Yeah, we listen less and less. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you're married to somebody for 30 years? Do you really listen? Careful. <laughs> Careful, you're on the air. Of course. Of course, yes. No, but the point is, is that the longer we, uh, you know, quote unquote, you know, be with people, the more we think we know them, the less we listen. So think about that. So that means, <coughs> excuse me, that means that the only relationship that are authentic are the new ones. That doesn't make sense, does it? I know. No, so it takes an active effort to listen to the people that you spend a lot of time with, whether you're at work or whether you're married to, or just dating, or kids that you're raising, or a baseball team you're working with, or mm. my God, anything else. Or how about this? How about, you know, you, you go to the grocery store at the same time all the time, or you go places where you see the same people all the time. You know, it's like you already know. You already know what they're going to say. You already know, you know their lifestyle. You already, you, you mm -hmm. know, you just have pre assumed who they're going to be, what they're going to say, what their direction is, kind of like who they are on the planet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't really listen to them like a new person. You assume them. You assume them. That's right. That was our last show. Yeah. Wasn't so it? what would it be like to really listen to everybody you come in contact with like new every single day? Like a new possibility. Like be unfiltered. What would that be like? I mean, wow. Okay. So think about that. You know? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So listen. Listening is defined as hearing with intention. Listening, you know, hearing with intention means like to listen to the sound of the waterfall. Listen and pay attention like listen to the teacher. Okay? Mm -hmm. Play, pay co close attention to it. Like you can say that you do these things when you are listening. Rarely do any of us listen 100% of the time. But think about this. What if we really did? What if when we were listening to someone else, that means we weren't talking, you know, it's kind of like what you're doing today on the radio show. You're listening to me. Mm -hmm. And in the breaks, I'm going, how come you're not talking very much? And you're going, because you're I'm, talking a lot. <laughs> I'm <laughs> listening a lot. Yeah. So I'm listening a lot. That's yeah. the name of the show, Clay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So now, what, what would it be like? Think about this. Listening is really an art. It takes practice. You know, it's like being a good, you know, draftsman or an artist or mm -hmm. someone that does build something really well. It takes a lot of practice. So listening also requires practice, all right? It requires understanding. It requires appreciation. It requires all kinds of things. Like, uh, how much time do I have left for the next break? So can, two minutes? Okay. So I've got two minutes. So really listen now because I'm going to give you some good stuff here, all right? Listening is all about being involved with and related to as much as is humanly possible with another human being. Listening is all about or actually, you could really listen to nature. You mm -hmm, could li listen good. to the night sky. You could listen to silence. That would be lovely. Yeah. You know, yes. you know, like, well, a good example of that is since we, you know, put the deck on the back of the house and everything else, we go out at night and we finally get to see the starry night and we can actually listen mm -hmm. to the quiet. And it's pretty neat to sit out there and just look at the stars and just listen. Mm -hmm. And it's not so much you have to hear somebody. It's about you get present to not you get present to not having all this chatter going all the time, not the phones ringing, yeah. you know, not the dog walking on the deck. Do, 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 and wonder what he's chewing up. <laughs> all right, and it's dark, so you can't see all the plants that need to have cleaned up, and <laughs> so you can actually focus on just yeah. The dark. So, so think about that, you know. So um, uh, we're gonna when we come back after this break, we're gonna talk about really the value of really listening, what it is to, to be an active listener, and how to give up being a judgmental, and how to give up assuming what someone's gonna say because you know them. So you're listening to the Clay Nelson Light Balance Hour on KZSB AM 1290 and um, uh, the News Press radio station. So thanks very much, News Press. So get on back here. <laughs> 